Hi, I'm John, and in this video I will show you how I made this small axe. For materials I use this disc from uh, Angle Grinder, it's an old one for cutting stone. I started by sanding the disc with this 60. Then I draw the axe on SketchUp and copy it to the disc. This project is based on cutting, grinding and sanding. Let's go to the first part, cutting. I'm starting to cut the axe into shape. And then I started to shape it with this sanding disc. Then in the bench grinder, if you want I have the review of this bench grinder on my channel. And finally with this small grinder. As I was making this cable with this pine wood, I noticed that was too thick, so I changed my mind and made it a lot thinner. But in the process, my battery died and I didn't notice. So from now, the red and pine wood are already glued and I'm starting from here. So I used this 80 sanding paper, 150, the 400 and the 600 for sanding and polish the metal. But it was taking too long, so I decided to bring the big guns. Then it was time to finish the cable. So I cut it roughly into shape. I drilled the holes in the X and in the cable. Then it was time to stand it. I just sand the cable to apply a finished coat. I'm happy with this final result. It's a new tool for my shop. So I apply this coat of Bondex. And I'm happy with this result. As you can see, the majority of my tools in my shop are from Parkside. It's a very good and affordable brand. If you want to see, I have a few reviews in my channel. 